Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how you can make friends while staying at a hostel. This is a question that I get very often from people who've never stayed at hostels before and sometimes even from people who are used to staying at hostels but who have a little trouble making friends whilst they are there. So if this sounds like you, you should definitely watch the entire video so you learn how and where to make friends while you're staying at a hostel and you enjoy the hostel experience like it should be. Hostels are really social accommodation so most people who come and stay at a hostel will be open to meeting new people, speaking with them and eventually making friends with them during their time at the hostel. So if you're not making use of this opportunity to meet people from around the world who are of different age groups and cultures uh, to help broaden your horizons, you are really missing out on one of the best parts of staying at a hostel. The first thing you can do once you check in is to ask the person at the reception whether there are any events planned by the hostel during the duration of your stay. For example, when I was in LA at the hostel, there were many events planned by the hostel. For instance, the one that I really enjoyed was a free dinner hosted by the hostel. It was a barbecue dinner. So the whole hostel was outside uh, for the dinner while the hostel staff was barbecuing uh, burgers and hot dogs. Uh, it was a really Really fun event and I met a lot of people there so, so these are the kind of events that you should be looking out for it could be something like this or it could be completely different uh, depending upon uh, your hostel but whatever it is do make an effort to go and uh, attend all the events hosted by the hostel during the time of your stay and you will definitely meet a lot of fun people during that time you can also find people from the hostel to join you on a particular activity, to explore the city or even to continue with you on the rest of your journey. How you can do this is uh, number one, when you get to the hostel, you can just let uh, the person at the reception know that you are looking for company to do uh, a certain activity. For example, if it's a day trip to a place a little outside of town and it requires three to four people, you can just let the person at the reception know that you are looking for people to come with you on this particular trip so that the staff at the reception will let uh, everybody else know that there is one person looking for company to go on this particular particular day trip. How this helps is when the staff at the reception put word out about uh, people wanting company to go on that particular day trip. People who are interested will sign up for it and you will instantly have company for that day trip. Now this does not have to be for a day trip. It can be for any activity or any journey that you're planning. Just let the people at the hostel know and they will be happy to help you find company. Most often when you're staying at a hostel, you will be sharing your room with a lot of others. It could range from a four bed to a 16 bed dorm room. So depending on which kind of a room you are, you will definitely have a lot of company. So what you can do is when you get into your dorm room or when others come into the dorm room, be open to talking to them. You don't have to be overly excited and try to make friends instantly, but you can definitely start with a hello and see if the other person wants to continue the conversation and and take it from there. In most cases, the people who come into the room or the people who are already in the room when you reach will be extremely open to meeting the people they are sharing their rooms with. So you will not have much trouble there. I've made a lot of friends like this. Whoever comes into my room, I greet them with a big hello. Uh, I say hi. I tell, I introduce myself and I ask them, uh, you know, where are they coming from? Where are they planning on going? Uh, how their trip has been so far? So these are a few things that you can definitely ask any one who comes in and these are also things that people are always willing to share with you as well so, so these are the kind of things that can help you start a conversation uh, so definitely give these a try one thing I love doing at hostels is joining in the group activities. Not like the hostel events, group activities uh, are organized by the hostel uh, to take people out into the city. There will so be many activities that the hostel coordinates. For example, it could be day trips to a nearby place, sporting activities, city tours, food tours. The list is pretty much endless. So all you have to do is check on the notice board if there's anything uh, coming up for the duration of your stay 
else ask at the reception uh, at any time uh, whether there are any activities that you can join in most now, hostels have a lot of free activities as well which you can join in and free tours which you can join in for these are really good to meet people as well uh, because when it's a free tour there'll be a lot of people who join in i like doing free tours because one it is free and i get to meet a few people along the way so I've taken a lot of free uh, city tours uh, led by the staff at the hostel and at most times the staff at the hostel are extremely knowledgeable about the history and culture of the place that they're taking people to. So it really is a fun experience and uh, you get a lot out of it as well. So definitely try and find out if there are any group activities or day tours run by the hostel during your time there because these are going to be great places to meet people while you're having fun. Another popular place to make friends while staying at a hostel is morning at breakfast. So, so breakfast usually is served in the large community area in the hostel. It could be their large dining room or it could just be an open space where people can bring their food to and have their meal. So this is a place where everybody comes together at the same time because, because breakfast usually is from about 7 to uh, 10 a.m. So if you go there around 8 or 9 or whenever it is comfortable for you, you will see that most of the people from the hostel uh, from the different rooms and different sections of the hostel will be there and you can go try striking up a conversation with somebody that you find interesting. And in most hostels, the seating in the dining area is set up so that it encourages socializing. So it will be large uh, benches or large tables with a lot of chairs around it. So it's not very difficult to meet people here. You just have to be open to saying hi to the person sitting next to you. And in some cases, people will come and say hi to you themselves. So just be open to reciprocating and carrying on the conversation. Most hostels have either a cafe or a bar attached to it. So this is another great place for you to meet people. What you can do is if it's a bar, sit right at the bar counter because when people come to order their drinks, you can strike up a conversation with them while they're waiting for their order to be given to them. If it's a cafe, again, you can sit where the order is to be placed or where the payment is being made. So, that so when people are waiting either for their order or to make the payment, it's another chance for you to strike up a conversation and talk to them. But, but let me remind you, whether it's at a hostel or anywhere, uh, don't come on too strong. Take it easy and let the conversation flow. Don't force conversation on anyone because that's just going to be uncomfortable for both you and the other person. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't think that just because you're at a hostel you are supposed to be making friends with everybody you see just, just like in your regular life you need to keep your boundaries and you need to judge body language and whether you're making the other person uncomfortable so keep all this in mind and go have fun making friends at the hostel that you're at all hostels will have kitchens which are accessible to all their guests so this is a place where you can make friends as well what you can do is buy your groceries from outside and start cooking your meal there and whilst you're cooking if there are people coming in invite them to join you for your meal tell them that you've made a little extra and whether they want a bit of it and in most cases they will say yes because uh, everybody is lazy to cook and if somebody is giving them uh, a free home cooked meal most people are going to say yes to that and that's a great way to start off conversation and hopefully make friends as well. I recently got another question from one of my readers on Instagram uh, on what can they do to start a conversation because uh, the person was asking me how they can make friends or where they can make friends and I told them this and uh, they were like but what do I ask and how do I start a conversation I don't know so, so let me address that now I mentioned one before like for example if someone new is coming into your dorm room you can always ask them where they're coming from what they're planning to do further uh, on their journeys and how their trip has been so far uh, you can also share the same information with them and that's a great starting point for any conversation uh, the other place you can strike up conversation uh, like I said is at the bar or the cafe for example if it's at the bar and like I mentioned if you're seated at the bar counter if you can ask somebody who's coming up uh, what they ordered and tell them what your favorite drink is and ask them what their favorite drink is and start a conversation about 
about the drinks that you're having. Uh, the same thing you can do when you're at a cafe. Strike uh, up a conversation with a person who's just ordered their meal and they're waiting for their bill to come in. Uh, ask them what they're eating and uh, how their day has been. It's just anything that you can ask. But the most common and easy things to do are just ask about everybody's journey. Or if you're at the restaurant, ask how the food is there because you haven't tried the particular dish that they are having. It could be anything. So just keep your mind open to having conversations with people and have fun with it. And if it seems like you're hitting it off with the person you're talking to, you can always ask them to join you for the day that you have planned or ask if you can join them for the day that they have planned. And, and if that goes well and you realize that uh, the group that you've met or the person you've met has the same itinerary for the rest of the journey you can try and do that together so, so you, you have company through your journey and you get to share some of the travel costs as well I think I've explained everything that I could about hostels. I've done a few videos on hostels before as well. So do have a look at hostels if you still don't understand uh, how hostels are or what they're about and what to even pack for hostels. I will leave the links for them in this video uh, and in the description so you can check them out. But you this was the one question I got after I put out those previous hostel videos on how people can actually make friends at hostels. So I'm hoping that I've done my best and I've explained uh, where and how to make friends whilst at hostels. I, I hope, hope you've liked everything that I shared with you and, and if you found this helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, switch on your notifications so you don't miss my upcoming videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching this video and happy travels to all of you.